okay. I'm super excited about this one. After a myriad of uh, just uh, video games, this is something I've been looking forward to. Sony RX100. Alright. Headed out with the Sony RX100. It's on uh, AVC HD 60p. We're going to test it out in the real world. Now it is really dark out. From what I can see in the rear view mirror of the car, the image on the uh, display is brighter than it actually is in this car. There are no lights on, um, but I'm testing it out. One of the great things about this camera, a big one inch sensor. So it's almost 1 a.m., which uh, here in Pennsylvania means it's time for the 1 a.m. trip to Sheets. Day two using the RX100. I'm loving it so far. We'll see how the image quality is and the audio. <laughs> I'm loving the RX100 as I said. One of the great things is this is the RX100. The RX100 Mark IV is out now, but if you look at the specs, they haven't changed a lot. Same sensor, same sensor size. Uh, some of the things they've changed on the RX4, for example, you can use Sony's uh, X, whatever. They're better codec. It encodes at a higher bit rate. Uh, it's cool, I'm gonna use that on the A6000. I got a SDXC card for that. Anyway, the point I was making, they haven't changed enough on the RX100 series from the one to the four to warrant me spending hundreds of more dollars. I'm loving this one so far. Uh, I don't know how it looks or sounds uh, in the, uh, on the LCD screen. Looks great, sounds nice. Okay, so I'm back at the radio station. Uh, super excited uh, testing out this RX100. Um, Unfortunately, it's kind of a dismal day outside, so the color is kind of gray and flat, but uh, I'm just trying to shoot a bunch of stuff so you can see what it looks like. Also, keep in mind, uh, I'm not going to correct the footage. I'm just going to do it straight out of the camera. I'm also using just a pretty automatic uh, setting for everything, just so you can see what it looks like. It's not the tool, it's the carpenter. So you can see what it can do. You can adjust it. You can put things on manual. You can put it on aperture priority. You can do whatever you want. Hang on, I'm going to go on the radio. Okay, just got done at the radio station, broadcasting two high school football games. Headed to the music venue I manage. Some bands here tonight, we're gonna see what's going on. What's up, guys? Hey. What's, up? what's up? What's up? for zoom ins of art. We just finished the third floor one. We're on the third floor right now. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, we're moving on to the second floor down there. We have some people waiting. We gotta find, um, we gotta uh, find all this stuff. So once we find it, we put the magnet <laughs> over it. Like, like so. Like say we find this weird album and put it on. Let's go. Again, we're getting the Ronda Rousey fight tonight. 
Jake's here, What's Steve's up? here, Will's here, yeah. fighters are here, Aiden's here. This camera, I love it. It's everything I wanted in a simple point and shoot. If you're lucky, you can snag one on eBay for around 200 bucks. Uh, yeah, there's new ones for less. You can get the uh, Nikon Coolpix S7000 for like 175 brand new. You can get the Canon PowerShot N for like 124. There's all sorts of options. It's up to you. You're the carpenter, the camera's just the tool. This is something I love though. I got it used, 200 bucks, and a nice big sensor. Works great, even though, yes, there's newer RX100s. I'm happy with it. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. Tell me in the comments why you do or don't like the Sony RX100. I'm Ryan, you've been watching Film Slacker.